To help you become more familiar with Adobe Illustrator, let's take a tour. To start, you'll open an Illustrator document. With Illustrator CC open, you can open a file by choosing File in the menus above, Open. In the Open dialog box, navigate to a file you have, or you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Then click Open. After opening a document, you'll usually want to make sure that you can see all of the document content. To do that, choose View, Fit All in Window. With a file open, you'll see the Illustrator workspace. Now the workspace is made up of an open document in the document window you see here, the menus above, the application bar below the menus, and on Windows, the menus are in the application bar, the tools panel on the left, and finally, dock panels like the properties panel you see here on the right. As you explore in Illustrator, you'll find that you can move parts of this workspace to have things you use all the time easily accessible, or maybe to show more of the artwork you're working on and fewer tools and panels. Being able to get around in your documents in Illustrator by zooming in and out and moving between artboards will make it much easier to create and edit your artwork. So to get more comfortable with navigating in your documents, you'll explore how to zoom in a document, and then you'll learn how to move or pan in the document window. You can open one of your own Illustrator files, or this file from the practice files for this tutorial. Now when you work in Illustrator, your content is on artboards. An artboard in Illustrator is similar to a page in Microsoft Word or Adobe InDesign. In this particular document, you'll see a series of artboards. You can have a lot of artboards in one document, and they can also be different sizes, maybe to design a postcard and a poster for the same client in a single document, which makes it easier to share assets and colors and different things across the different pieces you're creating. The first thing you'll do is select some artwork. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and click on artwork in this artboard. Once you do that, you should see a subtle black line around this particular artboard. That line tells you it's the active artboard, or the one that you're currently working on. There are a lot of ways to begin a new project in Illustrator. You can create one from scratch, start from a template, open an existing file, and more. Let's look at how to create a new document to start. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, you may see this start screen which appears when no documents are open. Yours may look different, and that's okay. From the start screen, you can open existing files and create new files. Whether or not the start screen is showing, you can also always go to the file menu at the top of the screen to open existing documents or to create a new document. Now to start a new document from scratch, choose File, New. The New Document dialog box appears. And once again, yours may look a little different than what you see here, and that's okay. In this dialog box, you can start by choosing a preset option like print, web, or mobile. So it's important to know before you start designing what type of project you're creating. In this video, you'll create a document for a poster that's meant to be printed, so click print to show a series of print document presets. When you choose the print preset, other settings like the type of color used and the units of measurement are automatically set to accommodate a print project. When you create a new file or you make changes to an existing file in Illustrator, you'll need to save your work. So let's look at a few different ways to do that. If you want to follow along, you can open this document from the tutorial practice files. With the file open, let's save a copy of the file. So click the file menu up here above the document. And if this is a brand new document and you're saving it for the first time, you can choose save. This isn't a new document, so you can't choose save. We're going to save it somewhere else and give it a new name by choosing save as. Now when you first save a new file, or you choose Save As, you'll see this Cloud Document dialog box. In the Illustrator on the desktop, you can save your document as an Adobe Cloud Document, or locally on your computer. Now a Cloud Document is an Illustrator document stored in the Adobe Cloud that can be accessed anywhere you sign into Illustrator. That includes Desktop Illustrator and Illustrator on the iPad. Saving as an Illustrator Cloud Document, or saving on your computer, retains layers, type, and other editable Illustrator properties. Now the extension for an Illustrator Cloud document is .aic for Adobe Illustrator Cloud. When it comes to Cloud documents, changes are automatically saved 
you have access to document history and you can work offline. In this case, you'll save your document locally on your computer. In this dialog box, click Save on your computer to save it to your computer. Creating and editing shapes is essential in Illustrator. In this section, you'll learn how to draw and edit simple shapes. To follow along, open this file from the practice files you downloaded. And once your document is open, to make sure you can see all of the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now to start, you'll select the shape. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and then click in this white triangle shape to select it. You'll learn how to draw a few types of simple shapes like this triangle, and then by the end, you'll be able to add shapes to create the robot on the right. Now you should see a box around the triangle. This is called the bounding box. This is important for editing shapes and it should be on by default. If you don't see a bounding box, choose View, Show Bounding Box. If you see a Hide Bounding Box in the View menu, you're all set. Now you'll draw your first shape, a rectangle. In the Tools panel on the left, click to select the Rectangle tool. Bring the pointer out into the document window and move it around. As you move it, you might see these magenta lines. These are smart guides and they help you align content. If you don't see them, choose View, Smart Guides to turn them on. In this lesson, you'll learn how to draw a line with the Line Segment tool. You'll also learn what a path is made of. If you want to follow along, you can open this document from the practice files for this tutorial. You'll start out by adding some branches and a trunk to this tree. To draw straight lines, you'll select the Line Segment tool in the Tools panel. So press and hold on the Shape tool you see here in the Tools panel. I see the Ellipse tool, you might see another Shape tool. And select the Line Segment tool. Come out into your design. To draw a line, you press and drag in the direction you want the line to go. So move the pointer into the tree shape. Press and drag down. Notice that you can move in just about any direction to create a straight line. Now the gray box you see that shows distance and angle is a measurement label. It can be really useful when you need to be more precise. When the line looks something like this, release the mouse. Now if you didn't see that gray label, choose View, Smart Guides to turn them on. In Illustrator, you can use simpler shapes and paths as the building blocks of more complex artwork by combining them in different ways. In this video, you're going to learn how to combine these shapes using the Shape Builder tool to create the final artwork you see on the right. To follow along, open this file from the Practice Files. To make sure that you see everything, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. You'll start by creating this main shape. Here there's a circle and a rectangle that are overlapping. They need to be combined into a single shape to give us this shape in the final artwork. Now to combine these shapes, you first need to select them. So with the selection tool selected, drag across these two shapes to select them. If there was other artwork underneath, you could also have pressed the Shift key and clicked all of the artwork to select multiple shapes. To combine the shapes, you'll use the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel on the left. So select the Shape Builder tool and drag across both shapes to combine them. You can tell what's about to be combined by the crosshatching that shows. Also, the red outline you see reveals the final shape that will be created. Release the mouse button to combine the shapes. Adobe Illustrator excels at working with vector artwork, which is made up of shapes and lines rather than pixels. But you can also add raster images to your designs. Raster images like JPEGs or PNGs consist of pixels which are aligned on a grid to form an image. When raster images are scaled up or down, they can quickly lose quality and appear distorted and or fuzzy. In Illustrator, if you want to scale or edit a raster image, you can trace the image to create editable paths from it. When you do that, you're essentially turning a raster image into vector artwork which can be easily scaled up or down without losing quality. Using this project, you'll learn about tracing raster images to create vector artwork. Then you'll see how to edit that traced or vector artwork. Finally, you'll add that artwork to an existing design on the right. If you want to follow along, you can open this file from the downloadable practice files. In 
In Illustrator, you can transform content by rotating, moving, scaling, and more. So let's take a look at some of the ways you can apply transformations to artwork in this project to complete it. You can open this file from the practice files if you'd like to follow along. First, you'll start by resizing some content. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left. Then click to select the circle here. To zoom into the artwork, choose View, Zoom In, and do that a few times so that it's a little bit closer. In Illustrator, artwork like this bird may be made up of several objects that have been aligned or combined to create a finished piece. To keep and move sets of objects together, which allows you to transform and move them together, you can group them. Let's look at how to group objects together first, and then how to edit individual objects within a group. To follow along, you can open this document from the practice files for this tutorial. Now to start, you'll group this bird artwork together. So select the selection tool in the tools panel and click to select the wing of the bird. To zoom into it, choose view, zoom in, and do that a few times so it's a little bit closer. To start working with color in Illustrator, you'll learn what stroke and fill are, apply colors that come with each document, and then you'll make a new color using the color picker. To follow along, you can use your own file or you can open this file from the practice files. You'll start out by learning what stroke and fill are by selecting some artwork. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left and click to select this large green shape. Shapes and other vector artwork as well as text in Illustrator can have a fill and a stroke. For this green shape, the green color is the fill and the red color is the stroke or border surrounding the fill. You can apply a solid color like the red or green, a gradient, which is basically a blend from one color to another, or a pattern to the fill or stroke of an object in Illustrator. Now, if you look in the properties panel to the right of the document, you'll see a fill color and a stroke color for the selected artwork. 